Hello and welcome to the Holiday Baubles Blanket Crochet Along. My name is Tanya and I am happy to be able to demonstrate these beautiful squares in this video tutorial. I'm going to be using the modern colorway from Cascade Yarns. Um, I needed to substitute white for the white peach as that was out of stock. So make sure you have your supplies, you need your hook and a scissors. The pattern calls for a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a five millimeter as I tend to crochet loosely. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Round one, you can start with a magic ring if you like. I always like to chain one to sort of close that magic ring before working my stitches. Or you can chain five one, two, three, four, and five. Join with a slip stitch in that first chain to form a ring. And then we'll start with the beginning puff. So we want to pull that loop about the height of a double crochet or a centimeter or half an inch, yarn over, insert hook into the ring and pull up a loop. Yarn over, we've got three loops on our hook, yarn over, insert, pull up another loop, five loops on hook, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, seven loops on your hook, yarn over, insert one last time, pull up a loop, nine loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all nine loops, then we'll chain two. The first one I like to pull a little bit tighter to finish that puff stitch, and then my second chain. We are going to work four more puff stitches into the ring. No, five more, so we'll have a total of six puff stitches. So the next one we yarn over, insert into the ring, pull up a loop. We want to keep these fairly loose so that it's easy to pull through at the end. That's three times, seven loops. Once more, four times for nine loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all nine, chain two. Okay, so you don't want to have it too tight so you can pull your hook through. We also want to be careful that they're not too loose or too long or they will get sloppy. And you want to try to keep each loop the same height as the previous loop. Okay, so I have three puff stitches. You can work that three more puff stitches and I'll meet you at that point. So I've made the six puff stitches into our starting ring. If you made a magic ring, you want to tighten that ring right now. And then we will join to the top of our beginning puff. And we can fasten off six puff stitches, six chain two spaces. Round two, we'll use color B and we can join our yarn in any of the chain two spaces from round one. So in between the puff stitches, in a chain two space, we can join our yarn with a slip stitch and we'll work a beginning puff. So again, pull that loop longer, yarn over and insert to pull up a loop. And we'll do that three more times. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. Nine loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all nine, chain two, and we'll work a second puff stitch in that same space. One, two, three, four. Chain two. And we'll work that all the way around. Puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch in each of the chain two spaces.
shame too. Okay, so you can do that four more times and I'll meet you just at the end of this round. When you've worked your way around with these puff stitches in chain two, we will join to our starting puff stitch with a slip stitch and fasten off. 12 puff stitches, 12 chain two spaces. And three, using color E again, we will start in any chain two space with a slip stitch. Chain one, and we'll place three half double crochet in that same space. Two and three half double crochet. Chain one. We'll make three half double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain one. And we'll repeat that all the way around. Three half double crochet in each chain two space. Chain one. Once you've worked your way around, you can join with a slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet and finish off. 36 half double crochet, 12 chain one spaces. Round four, we'll use color C. We want to join our yarn with a single crochet, but we're going to work only in the back loops this round. So we'll find our set of three half double crochet and the first half double crochet. Normally, we insert our hook under both of those top loops. For this round, we're just going to insert our hook under that back loop. So we'll yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two to finish our single crochet in the first half double crochet. Single crochet in the back loop only of the next two stitches. We're going to skip this chain one space. I'm working down on round two, we want to make a front post double crochet. So we yarn over the hook, insert hook from the front around the back of the puff stitch of round two out to the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice for a front post double crochet around that puff stitch, which lays just in front of the chain one from last round. Single crochet back loop only of those next three stitches. We'll work that repeat around. Yarn over to make our front post double crochet around the puff stitch of round two. Skip the chain space back loop only single crochet in the next three stitches. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. On our final repeat we will omit the three single crochet and end with the front post double, but I'll meet you at that spot. So I've almost completed the round. I need to work one more front post double crochet around that last puff stitch of round two. Then go ahead and join to our starting single crochet and fasten off. Twelve front post double crochet and thirty-six single crochet. Round five, working back loop only again and using color F, we will join with a slip stitch to any of the front post double crochet. Chain one, we'll place a half double crochet in the same stitch and in the next two stitches, a half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, we'll place two half double crochet. 
So to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in the next three stitches. The first one is in that front post double crochet. Half double crochet in those three stitches, two half double crochet in the next. And you can repeat that around. One, two, three, half double crochet, two half double crochet in the next stitch. Once you've worked your way around, you'll join with a slip stitch to our starting half double crochet and fasten off. 60 half double crochet. Six, we will use color D. We want to find the stitch so we, <clears throat> that's worked into one of these front post double crochet. Here's the front post double, there's the half double crochet that's worked into it. We want to start in the next stitch just past that. And we'll join with a single crochet in the back loop of the half double crochet just past the stitch worked into the front post double. Single crochet in the next three stitches, back loop only. One, two, and three single crochet. We'll front post double crochet around the front post double below. We'll skip the stitch just behind the front post double, single crochet, back loop only in the next four. Two, three, and four. And we'll repeat that around. Front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. Skip the stitch behind, single crochet, back loop only of the next four. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around and I'll join you just before the end. So as we come to the end of the round after that last set of four single crochet, we will need to make one more front post double around the remaining front post double from the previous round. Join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet and fasten off. There'll be 12 front post double crochet and 48 single crochet. Round seven with B, we will join in any of these front post double crochet working back loop only again. We'll join with a slip stitch, chain one, and we'll half double crochet in that same back loop of the front post double. And half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Two half double crochet in the next stitch. And then to repeat around, we will half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Two, three, four. Two half double crochet in the next. So you can go ahead, work that all the way around, joining to our starting half double crochet at the end of the round and finishing off. 72 half double crochet. Round eight, using color A, we want to join in one of these half double crochet that's worked into a front post double crochet. Working back loop only again, we will single crochet in that stitch and in each of the stitches all the way around. Single crochet in every stitch using back loop only all the way around. So at the end of the round, we will join with a slip stitch but using only the front loop 
So there's the two loops of the stitch using only that front loop to join with the slip stitch, but do not fasten off. 72 single crochet. If you wish not to make a holiday themed blanket, you can stop at this point. You do not need the next round, round nine, and you would continue on at round 10. For those making the holiday baubles or the ornaments, we will start where we left off for round nine. Round nine continues with color A with a chain four, which counts as a treble crochet. And we will treble crochet in the front loops of just the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then you can go ahead and fasten off. So they'll just be those seven treble. So round 10, we'll be working in the back loop only and working with color G. Now, if you are doing the non-ornament version, you're just going to join in the back loop where we joined the end of round eight. You will join in that back loop where we made that chain. Or where we joined with a single crochet. And then you will back loop only single crochet in each of the next six stitches. For those working the ornaments, we'll just fold those trebles to the front and it'll be behind the chain four in the back loop that we join with the single crochet back loop only single crochet in these next six. Okay, so for the non-ornament round, you just won't see those trebles and you'll have those back loop only single crochet. For those with the ornament, that single crochet will be behind the treble crochet that we made for the top of our ornament. And then we'll continue on half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, double crochet in the next two, remembering to work all stitches back loop only. Treble crochet back loop of the next stitch. And now we're going to make a corner. So we'll place two treble crochet in this next stitch. Chain two and work two more treble in the same stitch. To form our first corner. And then continuing to work back loop only, treble in the next, double crochet in the next two stitches, half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next seven. Six and seven single crochet. And then we're ready to begin the repeat again with those two half double crochet, two doubles, one treble, and working our corner and so on. So you can continue that all the way around. I will join you just before the end of the round. So when we've worked this repeat all the way around, that last half hitch double crochet should be in the last stitch of the round. For the non-ornament, you won't see those trebles there and you will just join with a slip stitch for, this is for either version, join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet. 
but do not fasten off. So between the corners, you will have 21 stitches. And then there'll be those four chain two corner spaces. Round 11, continuing with color G, we will chain three, which counts as a double crochet and double crochet in the next 13 stitches and working both loops. It's two, three. Twelve and thirteen double crochet, which should be in that last stitch before our corner space. In the corner, we will place two double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochet for the corner. and double crochet in each of the 21 stitches down the side. So you can go and work that around and I'll meet you just at our last corner. So when you've worked the fourth corner, we will need to double crochet in these remaining seven stitches. One, two, six and seven. We will join with a slip stitch to the top of our beginning chain three. Do not fasten off. Each side will have 25 double crochet and they'll be chain two in the corners. Now before we begin round 12, which is the final round for the sleigh ride ornament, those who are working the ornament version, if you haven't already, I recommend sewing in your tail from the top of the ornament, as we're now going to be attaching the top to this next row. So if that tail isn't sewn in, I recommend you do that now. For those not working the ornament round, so you'll chain one, single crochet in the same stitches join, and working through both loops of these next stitches, you will single crochet in each stitch down the side until you get to the corner. So for the ornament version, we'll have chained one. So we'll insert our hook through the back loop of the treble. So this first one is a chain, so I'm just taking the one loop of the chain, and then through both loops of our stitch from last round, Pull the loop through and finish a single crochet. Hook in the back loop of the treble and through both loops of the stitch behind. Pull through and finish. So we'll do that five more times. And last one back loop of the treble, both loops of the stitch. And then we'll just continue to work single crochet in each stitch down the side. Until we get to the corner, we'll place a single crochet in the corner, half double crochet, and single crochet all in that corner space. Then working down the next side, we'll single crochet in every stitch, working through both loops. All the way down the side, placing the single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet in the corners. 
Then when you get to the end of the round, you will join to our starting stitch and fasten off. You wanna fasten off with a long loop for sewing together later on. There will be 27 single crochet per side and the half double crochet in each of the four corners. So to complete part one, you will need to make two more of this square. So it'll be three total of this sleigh ride ornament. As well, you need to make these large squares, plain large squares, three of those. So there's a written pattern for that and a video tutorial for that as well. So you can go ahead and make three squares of the large square and three of the ornament. And I'll see you back here next week for part two.